Long Shot is directed by Jonathan Levine, the man behind 5050, and written by Liz Hanna and John Sterling, and stars Seth Rogen and Charlize Theron. And tells the story of Fred Flarsky, who reunites by luck with his childhood babysitter, Charlotte Field, who is now the Secretary of State for the United States of America. And as she prepares to make a run for the presidency, Charlotte hires Fred as a speechwriter, and sparks fly, surprisingly, between the two. And that's my first point, really, the chemistry between Seth Rogen and Charlize Theron is incredible. Who fucking knew? I like both these actors a lot for different reasons. I think most people like both of them for different reasons, and I never thought I'd care to see them both play a couple, but it really works. Because both of the characters are really well written, you get this relationship and you get to see that this guy is just a blue-collar guy just like anyone else, and then you have one of the most powerful people in the world who just wants to be normal, and the other guy just wants to be taken seriously, and because of the looks, people don't really put them together, but damn, this movie really works when it comes to the both of them, and believing that they love each other, and believing that this relationship could potentially work. Let's not kid ourselves because Seth Rogen will be the first one to say he's not the strongest actor. I just saw an interview with him and he says, I love working opposite with people who are much more talented than him, which is true. Charlize Theron is one of the best actresses working today and you can see that she can do anything. Drama, comedy, action. This woman can do anything. She can play opposite Seth Rogen and make it a believable relationship. The two are just really, really good in this film. And Jonathan Levine creates genuine, pure-hearted characters who you can root for and relate yourself to, despite one of them, you know, being the Secretary of State of the United States of America. Throughout the majority of this film, throughout the main bulk of the story, it just feels genuine and fresh. I've never seen anything Thing like this, at least in recent memory, when it comes to romantic comedies. The woman is the main star, the woman is the person in the position of power, and it didn't feel forced, just felt, yeah, this was a story, and I rooted for both these characters. I wanted to get to know both of them really, really well, and it works because in the story, both of them have to know each other really, really well, because Seth Rogen needs to write her speeches, and so the dynamic they create with each other is just so genuine, so charming, you can't help but laugh, and this movie is funny. There are several laugh out loud moments in this film. I had several times where my gut was hurting because I was laughing so loud. I couldn't control myself at points and I felt embarrassed because it was kind of a full room in the theater. And this movie allows you to spend time with these characters, not only as a couple, but individually. You get to really, really know them. I cannot emphasize that enough. But this movie is not without its flaws. Despite feeling so fresh, so new, again, at least in recent memory, this is one of the best romantic comedies I have seen in a while. On the third act, however, it does dive into more familiar, tropey territory. And it's not like it stops working from then on. It still works. You still like these characters because, again, it only dives into these tropey scenarios later on in the film on the third act. So it's not like they are not good, they're just not as good as the rest of the film was up until that point. There were also some problems I had with the cinematography throughout. This film gives off this vibe of a true look. It doesn't try to look movie-like, it just tries to look real. At points it has shots of characters standing in front of a window, an open window that is, and light works against this movie a lot, unfortunately. There are moments that just took me out. I understood that it was on purpose and all that, but to me it just didn't work. It just didn't fit with the rest of the look of this film, because you want it to look real, but you actually want to see what is happening. And I just never like generally when people are obstructed by light and I see a light, white light behind them, but just see them all black. But at the end of the day, I just wanted to follow these characters. I wanted to see them together. I wanted to see situations from the Secretary of States being dealt with in a real human manner, which it happens. I wanted to see this guy trying to become a more presentable person, which it happens. And you see all these scenarios that are really interesting because these characters are really interesting. Jonathan Levine did a great job. I'm giving Longshot a B. 
Guys, what did you think of Long Shot? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what is your favorite romantic comedy in the past few years and why. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. Go check out my live Avengers Endgame spoiler talk. Or if you haven't seen the film, my non-spoiler review or my Game of Thrones reviews, which are already up on the channel up to episode 3. And tomorrow I will have my review for Detective Pikachu unless there's an embargo which I don't think there is. So if my review isn't here tomorrow, it's because there was an embargo. Thank you so much, you guys are the best. Until next video, stay beautiful and stay geeky. And if you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button and click the bell. So we can be geeky united.